the channel everybody welcome back to the vlog I want to thank you so much for hitting that play button today if you're stopping in for the very first time my name is Chuck and uh, on this channel we are out here helping deliver America one pallet at a time <laughs> I try to bring you with me so that you can kind of see what it's like to be an LTL driver now these videos are entertainment for some informational for others and just on a, I, I accidentally clicked on for a few. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I try to have fun on these videos. I try to laugh. I, you know, I like to smile and, you know, just try to, you know, some day, sometimes your days just aren't going as good as you want to, but sometimes you just got to, you got to pull yourself out of it. A uh, huge thank you to everybody that's been sending in photos of their trucks. If you are a truck driver, whether you drive a flatbed, whether you drive a reefer, or you're an LTL guy, or you're whatever it is that you do and you drive a truck and you've got a picture, send it in to me. I'd like to uh, say thank you by sharing some of those at the end of every video. I think it's been uh, quite successful. I've gotten quite a few photos and uh, I just like being able to uh, say thank you to all my fellow truck drivers out there that are doing a job that uh, can sometimes be very thankless but at the same time very rewarding we're out here helping move products uh, so that people can get the items that they need or want in life <laughs> so that's what truck drivers do southeastern about to come out of there but uh, yeah we're headed to the next I'm headed to this next uh, drop-off that is a coffee place and we've got one pallet for them and then we've got mm, I think maybe eight or nine pallets for a clothing company and then we're gonna start our pickups so in this video I think we're gonna have a couple of drops and we're gonna have a couple of pickups so I will see you guys when we get to this next one. all right we're rolling up to this next drop off again this is only one pallet so it won't take long this truck Yes, sir. Well, you just caught, you cut out on me. What was that? Uh, usually like about, I don't know, 645, somewhere in there, seven. I'll be there. Dispatch call me. Chuck, can you come in at uh, 6.15 in the morning? No problem. No problem. I'm here to help. I'm a team player. Whatever you need me to do. Earlier is a better. Just don't ask me to come in late. <laughs> oh, goodness. Here we go. Here we go. Coming in hot, one pallet, one pallet. Now there's a place that we go to, they like to have us there, you know, before seven if possible. Looked over, I seen that truck, I was like, that dude, I, I was like, am I moving that fast or? Yeah, well, I wasn't moving that fast. He was just coming. <laughs> he was the one that was actually moving. Not. Get that we are here. Listen to 
kind of music you guys listen to? I like listen to. I just listen to Eddie Money. I love the music from the '80s. This always happens here. There's a big old, there's a big old hump right here in their deal. Yes, that one. Yes, the one today. All right. Yeah, that looks like a fun one. Sorting through all that. This one's really easy. This one's real quick. Really, just this. That's it. All right. Where you want me to sign? Right there. And there's your copy. Thank you. Y'all have a good day. You too. Boy, some Sprite right there. Mountain Dew. Serious drinks. When we get to this next one, now the next one I'm gonna be backing in. I come in and I back in their building which is inside of a garage. It's not the one that some of you may be thinking that it is. Because I have a couple places that I deliver to, to docks like that. But this one's, uh, it's so dark in there, they got these little uh, LED lights to try to help you. So hopefully they're on today. Because <laughs> you really, there's no point of reference when your vehicle's going into the, the dark, the, the, the black hole, as I like to call it. I'll uh, see so you guys when I get over. We are coming up on the next one. Right up here on the right. Oh, good. They're not unloading anybody, so that means they should get me out of here pretty good. So we're going that middle door. That's usually the door that they do everything through, unless they're like really, really busy, and then they do one on this this far left where that box truck is. Oh, they got some reflective tape up in there now, I think. I think that's what I just saw. Yep. Holy cow. This is going... This is new since the last time I was here. Yeah, we didn't have all that last time. I just had some, like... Looked like somebody took a, a flashlight and... <laughs> Coming in here a little bit of an angle. We can, we can fix it though. Yep. That is so sweet. like it.
that kicked off. Now we're going to start the pickup. The next place I go to, actually I back into another place just kind of like this. So I will see you guys when we get over. So we're going to go in this next entrance and we're going to back in over there. And they have a dock that goes down into their facility. say these people are here help keep your power on at least around here anyway good morning hi this is Chuck with Estes here for a pickup hi Chuck with Estes come on in okay guys that work out on the line they know what all this stuff is there's some big transformers and stuff there Ooh. I'm assuming or whatever that stuff is it's, I know they use it to move power <laughs> so this right here is gonna be where their dock is down in this hole here see that Lined it right on up in there. Now you're slow. There ain't much room in there, I'll tell you that. I've been here a couple times. You gotta try to get it lined up before you even go in. There we go. But you can't really make any adjustments once you get in here. Then you'll start feeling your trailer go downhill. There we go. You need to reach out and touch somebody. <laughs> Far enough away for the mirrors. see what they've got for me and I'll be back in a second all right we're coming around the corner to this place now again I've there's a guy here and it is it goes by Alvarez uh, but he's got me in 156 157 he said Chuck here every time you come here to pick up he'll just hit one of those doors ask anybody with a radio and uh, they'll come get or they'll radio me and I'll come get your stuff so that's really really nice because this place normally what you have to do is you have to park over here you have to go inside they got to do a whole check-in process and no, this is light I mean this is like no traffic usually there are two lanes all up down through here and I used to have to park over here walk all the way down to their guard shack and it was just a, a pain you come here you spend way too much time especially for you know in the LTL world I'm talking about versus he gave me these two doors which are right here I'm gonna actually back in right next to this uh, trailer that's right right here. We're not gonna wait on this guy.
Ben's got her. <laughs> Line her up just like that. I'll even go out on their dock and see if they happen to have our stuff already ready because if that's the case then all I have to do is get it loaded and then go down there give them my license and they do their whole checkout but I'm not spending a bunch of time down there so I'll be back the guy in here Alvarez was telling me he said Chuck I don't know what's going on I said man y'all look light today he goes I know it he goes you guys stop and think this is a huge, huge cold storage facility. And he goes, you know, we, we usually would do 60, 70 trucks out of here a day. And then we usually are getting, you know, that many trucks coming in here. And uh, he said, we're having problems with our suppliers getting, getting product in here. And he goes, we're having a hard time with employees. He goes, they just went up on their pay and... Uh, he goes, we can't get nobody to apply. He goes, it's just crazy. He goes, that's, I guess he was talking to a, a guy that he knows that's a supervisor of a cold storage somewhere in Savannah, Georgia for a DC for Dollar Tree. And he said, they're having major problems down there too because they kind of ship stuff back and forth with one another. So, you know, whatever you want to think or whatever about, you know, what's going on with, food and shortages you know it seems like everything is short I mean you walk into stores now and shelves just don't have as much stuff on as it used to be well this is a prime example right here you know this is a major food hub and they're not seeing as much stuff come through and I asked him I said, how long you been having this problem he said a couple weeks and he goes just on our boards on the stuff that's coming in he goes it doesn't look like it's gonna end anytime soon so uh, Definitely a time to make sure you got uh, some things in line. The mix stop is right over there where that AAA Cooper truck is. Looks like uh, door five is open, so that's the one we're gonna back into. So you got a hard dog, so I try not to hit it too hard. <laughs> Guys, I think that's going to do it for this video. I want to thank everybody for stopping by and spending a few moments with me today. Um, if you like this kind of content, definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button. But guys, until I see you at the next bit, uh, <laughs> until I see you at the next video. See, sometimes I get tongue-tied towards the end. It's been a long day. <laughs> but until I see you next time, I hope each and every one of you have a blessed rest of your day. And remember this: life is truly short. Make sure you make it sweet.